in this uh, presentation, we're, I want to work a few examples involving the uh, distributed property. If you're taking my class, it's a very important topic because you're going to do this all year. All right, so the distributed property. Basically, what, what this says, you're going to take this number outside your parentheses, you're going to multiply it by this number in your parentheses, and you're going to multiply it by your, your second number. So let's just see what this looks like. 7 times 10 is 70n. 7 times 7 is 49. So that's all we're doing at this point. And so let's look at this next example. You've got this 8 in front of your parentheses. And you got in your parentheses 1 minus 2x. So what are we going to do? That's right. You want to take that 8 and you want to multiply it by 1. 1 times 8 is 8 minus what? Well, 8 times 2 is 16x. So, see, what if this was, let's do it this way. If you had 8, 1 minus 3, and we were asked to do it with a distributed property. Well, it's the same thing. 1 times 1 is 8. 8, 8 times 3 is 24. And then 8 minus 24, what's that? That's going to be negative 16 and that could show up on a test I can open a response or something to say uh, work this problem due in the distributed property and notice here you've got let's look at number one again you got an in here there's no variable here these are unlike terms so that's all we can do with it same thing here 8 minus 16x you got x here no x here those are unlike terms. You can't add or subtract. You can only remember. You can only add or subtract like terms. And like terms are numbers that have the same variable raised to the same power. So let's do just a couple more examples here. You've got this negative 3. A lot of times people are going, you know, they miss these problems because they forget about that negative sign. you got a negative 3 times a positive b, which is going to give you a negative 3v minus, well, you got negative times negative, so that's a positive. So I'll go ahead and write my plus sign first. Plus 7 times 3, which is 21. So again, here's another one with the negative. Let's skip down to do 5. And notice you got a negative here and a negative here. So your final answer is both going to have to, it's going to be positive, right? I know it's going to have an A in it, and I know it's going to be a plus. So what I do is go ahead and write that down so I don't make a mistake by leaving it off or something. 10 times 4 is 40. So I got 40A. 10 times 5 is 50, right? So negative 10 times negative 4 is a positive 40. Negative 10 times a negative 5 is a positive 50. But notice I didn't really have to worry about my signs because I was doing the multiplication because I already wrote them down. So here, it's going to have a negative sign out front, right? And then this positive is going to become a negative because a negative times a positive is negative. And a lot of people forget that there's an understood 1 in front of that x. So 7 times 1 is 7x, 7 times 6 is 42, and if you want you can rewrite it as negative 7x minus 42. This looks a little bit neater, you don't have to do that. Um, I don't care if your answer looks a little bit sloppy like that. What I care about is if you're getting your computation. So let's do number 4. Uh, that's a positive, so we're not going to have to worry about the sign. 7 times 4 is 28 minus 7 times 4, 28, n. These are unlike, each of these are unlike terms. You're going to see a lot of these in class. Uh, won't be long, and we'll have something that say, looks like this, and it's going to be equal to, say, something like 56, and you're going to have to solve for n in this case. But before you can solve this for n, you've got to be able to distribute these numbers. And I didn't draw my lines, but some people find that, you know, they find it helpful if they draw a line from the number out front to the number inside the parentheses they're multiplying. 
that's perfectly okay. Like if you have something like this, you can go A times B, gives you A, B, then you go A times C, gives you A, C. So that's it. That's a distributed property. If you have questions about it, just ask me in class.